I recently started delving into C++ programming, specifically game development using SDL2. Therefore, I set up ClangD language server in NeoVim LSP. And well, it works really well. So in this video, I will provide a short guide on how to set up C++ code completion using ClangD in NeoVim. Before we start, note that you need to be familiar with how NeoVim configurations work and should have the plugins NeoVim LSP config and a code completion plugin like NVim CMP already set up. These plugins do have decent readmes, so I'm hopeful that you can easily set them up by yourself. In case you need help, you can also find my NeoVim config in my github.files, which I shall be linking in the description of this video. First, we visit the GitHub page of the NVIM LSP config plugin. You should follow the instructions um, given here for setting up this plugin. But right now, we are interested in the common configurations provided by the devs. For C++, uh, we have two options available, which are CCLS and ClangD. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use ClangD. As per the instructions here, you need to have Clang installed. Use your package manager uh, in order to install. I already have it installed here. Also note the special instructions given here. Now these will be relevant in the next step. Right now with Clang installed and ready, we need to add this line to our NeoVim config. As instructed in the readme, I have added this line here. Now note that uh, you will also have to add langd to this server's variable here. With that out of the way, let us now test the code completion in a simple C++ project. This is a simple C++ project that implements a logger. And from the start, you can already see that the LSP is giving out some warnings here. We have code completion. And we have all the required LSP features as well, such as viewing all the references, of a variable we can edit symbols and we can go to definition um, like for example i can view the definition of this log class or even check out the standard libraries Now everything is working fine out of the box only because this is a single file project. Let us now test the abilities of the LSP in a project that consists of multiple files. Here I have a C++ project that implements a tic-tac-toe game. From the directory tree, you can notice that this project consists of a various source file and header files. From the start, you can already see that uh, the ClangD server is giving out a lot of errors because it is unable to find the location of header files. Let us check out the other files. Here too, this source file can't find its header file. Now this is where we need to get back to the readme. The devs mentioned that uh, ClangD relies on a JSON compilation database for un understanding the di directory structure as to where the other files are lo located. Now if your project uses build tools like CMake, then uh, one remedy or one way to generate the JSON compilation database is to add this flag. Now, 
for simple project i usually do not use cmake instead i rely on simple make files now for that uh, they have provided uh, another way which is to use a tool like beer but right now we are getting ahead of ourselves um, i am going to show you how you can um, generate the json compilation database for a cmake project Here I have cloned a test project from GitHub that uses CMake. Now if I open this project in NeoVim, you can notice the warnings because it can't find the header files. Now the normal way of uh, building this project is to go inside the build directory and then run CMake with no flags. Now the project has been built, but this won't work because uh, we need to produce the JSON compilation database as well. And for that, we need to pass this flag into CMake. Now we have the compile underscore command JSON file, uh, which is the JSON compilation database. Now if we open project inside in NeoVim, we should uh, have uh, ClangD working fine. And yes, uh, we can go to definition and then uh, check the references. We have now seen how we can make a project built using CMake to work with ClangD. Now, according to README, if you have a project that uses make files or any other build system, then we can use Beer. The Beer project's README explains that Beer is a tool that generates a compilation database for Clang tooling. Now for us, the special thing is that Beer can generate the JSON compilation database even for build systems other than CMake. Now I'm going to jump back into my Tic Tac 2 project that uses uh, vanilla make files. Now as we had tested earlier, the project does not work uh, with ClangD. Now the readme states we need to run Beer with two dashes and then our build command now uh, this project is built using the make all command and yes we have generated the binaries so in order to build the json compilation database we will have to run beer dash dash and then make all And yes, we now have the compile command JSON. And if we open the project in NeoVim, we have no warnings. We can check definitions and references. I must confess that I have not used this language server for quite long, but it seems to work quite well. Uh, but note that unlike how code completion works out of the box in other programs, you need to first manually set up a build system and then generate the JSON compilation database. And this should be done whenever you make changes to the project file tree. I would suggest you to set this up in the auto command to help avoid uh, making this process tedious.